My beloved child, listen closely to my words. Today, I speak directly to your heart. You are more precious to me than you can comprehend. In this world full of trials and tribulations, know that I am your eternal refuge and strength. When the storm rages around you, I am the calm within. Trust in me, for I have plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. You may feel weary, burdened by the struggles of life, but take heart, I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. My love for you is unending, unwavering, and unconditional. In moments when you feel alone, remember that I am right beside you, holding you in my embrace, whispering peace to your soul. Be courageous, my child, for I have equipped you with a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. You are capable of overcoming any obstacle because I have already paved the way for your victory. When you walk through the valley of shadows, fear not, for I am your guiding light, leading you to brighter days. Your prayers do not fall on deaf ears. I hear every word, see every tear, and understand every fear. Continue to come to me with your petitions and praises, for I delight in our communion. As you seek me with all your heart, I will reveal myself to you showing you the depth of my love and the vastness of my grace. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Do not be discouraged by the naysayers or those who do not understand your journey. I have set you apart, chosen you for a purpose that is greater than you can imagine. Hold fast to the dreams I have placed within your heart, for I will bring them to fruition in my perfect timing. Remember, my beloved, that you are never too broken for my healing touch. I am the great physician, able to mend the deepest wounds and restore what has been lost. Let my love be your anchor, your hope, and your joy. In me, you will find true freedom, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As you walk in faith, step by step, I will provide for your every need. Trust in my provision, for I am the Good Shepherd, guiding you to green pastures and still waters. I will open doors no one can shut and close doors that are not meant for you. Stay faithful and obedient, for your obedience is the key to unlocking my abundant blessings. In times of uncertainty, rest assured that my promises are steadfast and true. I have a covenant of peace with you, and nothing can separate you from my love. Embrace the journey, knowing that I am orchestrating every detail for your good and my glory. So rise up, my child, and let your light shine. Be a beacon of hope and love in a world that desperately needs it. As you go forth, know that my grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in your weakness. You are my beloved and I am with you always. 
type Amen if you receive these words and are ready to step into the blessings I have prepared for you. Share this message with others who need encouragement and let us spread my love far and wide. Remember, you are never alone, for I am your God, and I am with you, now and forevermore. As you continue on this journey, my beloved, remember that every step you take is guided by my hand. I have walked before you preparing the way, and I am with you every moment. There will be times when you may not understand my ways, but trust that I see the bigger picture. My wisdom surpasses all human understanding, and I am working all things together for your good. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Do not be swayed by the noise and chaos of the world. Keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. In me, you will find a peace that surpasses all understanding a peace that guards your heart and mind. When you are faced with challenges, stand firm in faith, knowing that I am your rock and your fortress. I have called you to be a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope for those who are lost. Let your life reflect my love and grace Show kindness and compassion to those around you, for in doing so, you reveal my heart to the world. Be patient and gentle, for my spirit is at work within you, transforming you into my likeness. There will be times when the enemy tries to sow seeds of doubt and fear, but remember that I have given you authority over all the powers of darkness. Stand strong in the truth of my word, for it is a sword that cuts through every lie. Clothe yourself in the armor of God, and you will be able to withstand the attacks of the enemy. My child, your life is a testimony of my faithfulness. Every trial you have endured, every mountain you have climbed, is a testament to my power and love. Share your story with others, for your testimony has the power to encourage and uplift those who are struggling. I have redeemed you, and I am using your life to bring glory to my name. As you move forward, Remember to seek me first in all things. Let your heart be attuned to my voice, for I am speaking to you, guiding you in paths of righteousness. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me, and I will make your paths straight. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. There is nothing you face that is too great for me to handle. Bring your burdens to me and I will give you rest. Trust in my timing, for I make everything beautiful in its time. Be patient and steadfast, for I am faithful to fulfill every promise I have made to you. In moments of joy and celebration, do not forget to give thanks, for every good and perfect gift comes from above. Let your heart overflow with gratitude. 
and let praise be continually on your lips. As you live a life of thanksgiving, you will see my blessings multiplied in your life. I am your shepherd, and you shall not want. I will lead you beside still waters and restore your soul. My goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in my house forever. Rejoice, my beloved, for the best is yet to come. The plans I have for you are filled with hope and a future. Stand firm in faith, walk boldly in love, and let your life be a reflection of my glory. You are my child, and I am proud of you. Type Amen. If you receive these promises and are ready to embrace the fullness of my love and grace, share this message with those who need to hear it, and together let us build a community of faith, hope, and love. Remember, you are never alone, for I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Type, yes, if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. As you journey further, my beloved child, know that each day is a new opportunity to experience my grace and mercy. My love for you is steadfast and unchanging, and I am continually at work in your life, shaping you into the person I created you to be. Trust in my timing, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. You may encounter obstacles and face moments of doubt, but remember that I am your strength and shield. When you feel weak, lean on me, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand, and I will never let you go. In your moments of solitude, seek me with all your heart, for I am near to those who call upon me. Pour out your heart before me, and I will fill you with my peace that transcends all understanding. Let my word be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path, guiding you in every decision and step you take. I have placed within you gifts and talents that are uniquely yours. Use them to serve others and to glorify my name. You are my masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which I prepared in advance for you to do. Do not be afraid to step out in faith, for I am with you, equipping you for every good work. Remember that you are part of a larger story, a grand tapestry that I am weaving together for my glory. Your life has purpose and meaning, and I am using you to make an impact in the world. Do not underestimate the power of your influence, for your words and actions can bring hope and healing to those around you. When the world around you feels uncertain, find your security in me. I am your rock and refuge, an ever-present help in trouble. You can trust me with your deepest fears and anxieties, for I care for you. Cast all your burdens on me, and I will sustain you. 
In times of abundance, be generous and share with those in need. In times of need, trust that I will provide for you, for I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider. My resources are limitless, and I will supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. Let your faith be unshakable, rooted in the truth of who I am. As you walk by faith and not by sight, you will see my faithfulness unfold in ways you never imagined. Hold fast to my promises for they are a firm foundation on which you can build your life. I am calling you to live a life of love, for love is the greatest of all virtues. Love me with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. In doing so, you fulfill the greatest commandment and reflect my heart to the world. As you journey onward, know that you are never alone. I am with you every step of the way, guiding, comforting, and empowering you. My spirit dwells within you, giving you the courage to face whatever comes your way. Rejoice in the journey, my beloved, for it is filled with opportunities to grow and to experience my love more deeply. Let your life be a testimony of my grace and a beacon of hope to those around you. You are my child, and I am proud of you. Type Amen. If you receive these truths and are ready to walk boldly in the path I have set before you, share this message with others who need encouragement, and together let us build a community of faith, hope, and love. Remember, you are never alone, for I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Be strong and courageous, for I am with you wherever you go. In times of uncertainty, lean on me and find strength in my presence. I am your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. When you feel overwhelmed, take refuge in me and I will renew your strength like the eagles. Live with intention and purpose, for you are my ambassador representing my kingdom in this world. Let your words and actions reflect my heart, bringing healing and hope to those around you. As you serve others, you serve me, and in doing so, you bring my light into the darkest corners of the earth. Do not be discouraged by setbacks or delays, for I am working all things together for your good. What may seem like a detour is often my way of leading you to something greater than you can imagine. Trust in my timing, for I make everything beautiful in its time. Be patient in the waiting, knowing that I am preparing you for what lies ahead. Your faithfulness in the small things is building a foundation for the greater things I have in store for you. Persevere through challenges, for they are shaping your character and deepening your dependence on me. Rejoice in the hope of what is to come, for I have promised you a future filled with good things. Let your heart be filled with joy and gratitude for the blessings I have bestowed upon you. As you give thanks, you will experience my presence in new and profound ways. Remember, my beloved, 
that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You are never alone, for I am your constant companion, walking beside you every step of the way. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. Type Amen if you receive these truths and are ready to embrace the fullness of my promises for your life. Share this message with others who need encouragement, and together let us build a community of faith, hope, and love. Know that you are loved beyond measure, and I am with you always, guiding you toward the destiny I have prepared for you. God says, enjoy life. You may be under a lot of stress right now because of the economy, but God still wants you to enjoy life. As a Christian, you can enjoy life because your conscience is clear. You can enjoy life because you are secure within God's love. You can have fun laughing in church. You can enjoy friends and family who don't manipulate you because they accept you and are learning to be like Jesus and that means they are learning to look out for the interests of others. Unfortunately, there are many people who do not want to let God into their lives because they fear God will make them give up anything that is fun. They think that to become a Christian is the same as saying the party's over that to be spiritual is to be miserable. People are frantically looking for fun fixes, but that means they operate under the law of diminishing returns. They spend more time, more money, and more energy to get less and less of a thrill. They go around asking, are we having fun yet? The truth says God richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. On Timothy 6:17b NIV. God wants you to enjoy life. We are in a battle against hopelessness. When something bad happens and we have a major loss in our lives, we tend to think this is the end of the world. But it's not the end of the world. It's the end of a moment. And in your life, you're going to have many moments that end. You can't treat each of those moments like the end of the world because it's not. One day Jesus is going to come back to earth and settle the score, even the odds, pay off the debts, and heal the hurts. I'm looking forward to that day, but we're not there yet. So what should you do in the brief here and now, where everything is broken, life doesn't make sense, and it feels like a constant battle? What do you do during this in-between time? You live in peace, even when life doesn't make sense. You can do that because you know that God is with you and he loves you. He'll never forget you or stop loving you. You live with joy, even when everything on this planet is broken. Because you know that God is good and he has a good plan that is greater than the problem you're going through. His purpose is greater than your problem. You live with hope, even when life is a battle and everything is hard and there's a lot of conflict. You keep hoping in the perfect forever that God has promised to all those who believe in him and his son, Jesus. 
It's not the end of the world yet. Keep living with peace. But before you allow yourself to get mad back, calculate what you're going to lose. Calculate the cost of anger. The Bible is extremely specific about uncontrolled anger. Proverbs 29.22 says, An angry person causes trouble. A person with a quick temper sins a lot. In Proverbs 15.18 you read, Hot tempers cause arguments. And Proverbs 14.29 says, a hot temper shows great foolishness. When you let Tanger take control, there is a cost. You're going to get in trouble. You're going to sin. You're going to cause arguments. You're going to make mistakes. When you lose your temper, you always lose. You may lose someone's respect, the love of your family, your health, or even your job. Maybe you're someone who uses anger to motivate people to do the right thing. Don't do it. You may get the short-term payoff. But in the long run, anger always produces more anger, more apathy, and more alienation. How many kids have become alienated from a parent because of out-of-control anger? How many people have been alienated from a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, or a friend because somebody lost their cool? Anger destroys relationships faster than anything else. If you realize there's always a price for returning anger for anger, you're less likely to get angry when somebody's pushing your buttons. So before you retaliate, ask yourself, do I really want to do this? Do want to make mistakes? Do I want to sin more? Do I want to cause arguments? Do I want to act foolish? Anger always comes with a price tag. Before you retaliate, calculate the cost. Then choose the wise path of controlling your anger. When God says wait, even as you make a decision to follow the dream God places in your heart, you can expect a delay. God will not fulfill your dream immediately because this is another step toward building your faith. In Habakkuk 2, God says, these things I plan won't happen right away. Slowly, steadily, surely, the time approaches when the vision will be fulfilled. When delay comes to your dreams, you'll most likely start asking the question, When, Lord? When are you going to answer my prayer? And we hate to wait. We don't like to wait in a doctor's office or in traffic jams or at restaurants or for Christmas presents or for anything else. But what we hate worst of all is waiting on God. We all have to go through these waiting periods. Even Jesus waited for 30 years in the carpenter's shop before setting out on his public ministry. Why do we wait? It teaches us to trust in God. We learn that his timing is perfect. One of the facts we have to learn is this. God's delay never destroys his purpose. A delay is not a denial. Children must learn the difference between no and not yet and so must we. Many times we think God is saying, no, but he is saying, not yet. In a sinful, lustful, hateful, competitive, materialistic world such as ours, 
where at every turn we feel pressured to prove ourselves to be accepted by people that don't even care about you see where no matter what we do or how hard we try we will never be enough we will never be accepted for who we truly are inside we can try so hard and sooner or later we're left feeling substandard empty not good enough other we begin to forget and become discontented with the many blessings from god because we're so busy comparing ourselves to others so busy focused on and complaining about what we don't have stop comparing and start being content it is better to be content with what little you have otherwise you will always be struggling for more and that is like chasing the wind ecclesiastes 46 contentment doesn't mean you don't have any goals dreams or plans for your life it simply means you don't need more and you don't need the acceptance of others in order to be happy. By nature, people are discontent. But by God's grace, you can rest contently in his goodness to you. When you grasp that most things in your life are simply gracious gifts from God, your life will go from overwhelming to overflowing with God's abundance. Stop complaining and be grateful. Do everything without complaining and arguing. Philippians 2.14 Complaining is a deeply unhealthy emotion. On the other hand, studies have shown that gratitude is the healthiest emotion. It produces serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin in your brain. Those are the chemicals that boost happiness and lower stress. The world is harsh, but for believers in Christ, we can rest assured that it is only our temporary home. We are in this world, not of this world. Let's live each day with an attitude of gratitude, and in everything we do, let's do it to glorify our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When it feels like we're at the end of our rope, when it feels like the righteous are losing, remember the end of the story at the end of the Bible. We win and God is the only one whose acceptance we need. A. 